our lovely and wholesome third grader Yayoi declares war on an actual god. And apparently in the manga, she went like this. The anime censored it for some reason. They didn't even show it. Like, at least do something. It would have been hilarious if the declaration of war was against a fucking god from a third grader going like this. Yayoi goaded. The arc, sorry, the plot seems to be going somewhere actually deep. Now, we have an actual main villain to fight against. Let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction. Back at Yayoi's place. So, maybe recap? It is recap. I mean, it's a god. We can contend because we have... These are just preschooler spirits, right? We have, like, graduates. This isn't even her final form. Like, her... Like, sorry. For the god and Yayoi, right? I know I would beat you. Yeah. And how old is Yayoi? Like, nine? True! True! <laughs> Where's the middle finger, though? Alright, base, kind of. Nah, but we have other friends. <laughs> He's so scared. At least he's saying something, right? These are just preschoolers. Nah, they're like the lowest of levels, right? They're excited. Yo, we got an army. We have a fucking army. Where's this though? At, at least yeah, 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 did this, but come on, where's the middle finger? The gods just chilling here. <laughs> are we what are we doing <laughs> this is the awkward part where it's like okay did we say the final words okay it's gone when the, where where are you gonna be ah! okay she can just do that ravage i thought you only like girls with big titties nah we're gonna save i and those stars will go away even though the star is really cool design for now where's it waiting where do we just meet to fight you know like was there like meeting behind the fucking school at lunch like what are we doing yeah this is actually a big l for us though what what's coming what do you mean the graduates who's getting devoured Power balance. So we're about to power up again. All the people in here are about to eat the weak and somehow get culled out. What the f The ultimate? Oh! Okay! So this is actually a good thing for us because now we're going to get like the strongest spirit that survives, right? Even with these cute little plushies. This room is cursed, man. I think it's over. Uh, and anyone there? There's one left. Who is it? Ought to be the cutest little plushie. A new graduate. Remember, we have multiple graduates outside, right? How strong is this thing? So that's what it means by graduate. Each, you know, generation, she does this and one survives? And there's multiple of those graduates outside? Oh, shit. Eiko? Yeah, yo, who has her phone? Move the god has it. End? It's just a cell phone. What do you mean? Oh, everybody can call. Echo, don't. Oh, it's still ringing. We can hear her, but maybe she can't hear us. Hmm? No, that's not her anymore. That's not her anymore. Yo, graduate, get out there. Do some work. But that is Eiko now. Who is between the door? What? What's going on? Uh, we're suffocating our graduate now? Can't believe it's still ringing. Uh, the graduate has been sealed away in a bag. 
The graduate saying that? And it's hung up. Nice one. He's gonna be like, oh, he touched me. I'm not sure what happened there, but it seems to be related to the graduate we just, you know, had. Put it in the bag, we locked it away, and now everything's fine. They're so... they're that powerful? <gasps> Up to five houses! What a range. They've graduated from my room, I guess. Okay, okay. And we have, a, we have like, way more graduates outside too, right? Oh, shit. It did lead to the loss of them, but eventually they were all gonna get culled anyways, right? Because we want to, like, create the final product, so it doesn't really matter. On a completely different level of power. Yo, we're power scaling these fucking spirits now. Oh my god. How could it be, like, what kind of power does it have? Ugh. It's always surprising where just the blood comes from from these spirits, because you know how the plushies, they're like, they're like fiber, cloth, or whatever, and then, see, and then it just like rips his head off, and there's like fucking tomato juice everywhere. The contrast between like these cute plushies and all the blood and them like being terrified, it's always so good. I just realized, she's saying, I just caused a lot of trouble for you guys, right? Like, what do you think is happening right now in this room splattered with blood everywhere, I? Okay, we're gonna say bye to her for now, I guess. Is that fine? Does the god won't do anything? Shouldn't we, like, be with her? Okay, bye. Okay, if he actually confronted us, then we'd be dead. The god is, like, very playful, so we're lucky in that sense. Is Eiku ever gonna fight together? You know, I want the Yandere knife to come out. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. The mom, man. Yo, what is up with that mom animation and the fucking baby being born? Like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, oh. Mm-hmm. That's right, and that can act as like a little lifelines, right? Yes. This is a good little recap of different mechanics in this show. But now they're all gone. Yes, they're all in her place. You never knew? The alien doll? Okay. Yeah, I don't think yeah, Eiko's taking this too seriously. Kamisama destroyed everything, and now we only have one graduate. Right now, there's other graduates outside, right? But we need to go get more spirits then, to make a new graduate? Yeah, we need more, like, lives and stuff, so we need to go around and, like, farm more uh, spirits. It's just basically another step of defeating the god before the specter. Enough to replace all the ones in our room, right? Ain't no way we spend the next couple episodes just farming random spirits. Huh? When? How old were you? Three graduates. Yo, do we have any more graduates we can bring in with the god right now? Six graduates. I love how they all have a little graduation happen at diploma mill thing. Okay, let's gra let's call all our graduates back then. Are they still around? Oh, there they are. <laughs> What is this? Yeah. We, have, we got three of them. Okay, they're very cute. Four. Another transcendent Jizo. I'm not really following, but we got another guy that's even stronger than my graduates. We need a sixth one. One more then. So I guess in the battle against the gods, the graduate we used last time kind of died. This is different from just, you know, creating a graduate. We're gonna capture a graduate straight up. So this is gonna be like one of the most dangerous uh, missions then. It's always those tunnels, man. Tunnels are graveyards, abandoned schools. Okay, we went from- what? Well, that doesn't sound too daunting because we said we declared war on a god. So taking on the country doesn't sound too bad. Danger unknown sounds super OP. Maybe we shouldn't go there. RNG? Alright, that's where we're going then. <laughs> Japanese spirit all-stars. We're gonna take down the god. Alright. I feel like the Spectre won't be next after the god, though. I feel like the Spectre is too endgame, you know? Kei Taro is getting swept up and... I don't know if she... Yeah, exactly. What, what, what? Eiko got the family van, right? Beep, beep. But I want Eiko to get involved. With the knife, man. Lessons? Oh, right. I forgot. This is tutoring. I forgot about that entire aspect of the show. Who cares about that shit, man? We're gonna take on a god. We gotta take on the country. Fuck the homework! But I guess, you know, 
they, they can't fail class and shit, or they gotta repeat. Oh, little bike scenes like this, and by the riverbank with a girl behind. Yeah, an actual god, but she's killed a god before too. Keitaro did kind of participate in the declaration, yeah. Aww. Now that Yayoi feet doesn't feel alone because we have Keitaro and Eiko together. Oh, I forget that she's just like a 9 or 10 year old girl, man. Oh! Where is this diabetes coming from, man? <laughs> you picked a big fight? That's why you, you were so happy you picked that big fight? What are you going to say? Don't say I love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're more than just bait, Keitaro. Oh my god. <laughs> You're a cannon fodder. You're a great partner. You know, I forget that, you know, Yayoi is just a grade 3 girl, just a kid. Because the way that she presents herself is so mature and it's kind of like old. Like, she feels like the grown up the group most of the times because of her awareness of spirits. But moments like this is nice too. Yeah, you ride. The no, yeah, you should ride a bike. A plot you didn't mark. Oh, uh, you sure you want to go there right now? We're just marking the place, right? Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, where does the graduate stay around? Where her, where her, where are her other graduates? Where do they just like chill? But he subconsciously loves the fear, right? S. S rank. Wow. Okay. I. What, what's actually gonna be there though? Some kind of shrine, yeah. Castle H ruins. S rank danger. Man, the only S rank danger is to fucking my heart. Because I have no cardio to walk down, walk up all those stairs. Let's go! Forgot about that. Remember how Eiko gets in the car and we go, let's go. I think that's the episode. All right, that's another episode. Listen, it's more of a setup episode, right? Because now we kind of have a clear outline goal. It was before to get to the specter. But now we got to kill the god and then the specter. But to kill the god, we need one more graduate. But before taking on that another graduate, we're doing something extra in this S rank region. Now, Keitaro really needs to understand how to fight beyond just getting clutched out by Yayoi. And I feel like Eiko at a certain point will need to understand how to fight too. So I'm just waiting for that moment where Yandere Eiko comes out with a knife and starts slashing up ghosts. I think that'd be pretty funny. And with I being gone, who knows what's going to happen. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.